Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our case of CO2 storage modeling using CMG software. Okay, so we will model and simulate CO2 storage in saline aquifer. So in the previous video, we have covered the reservoir, components, rock fluid, initial conditions, numerical settings, wells and recurrent. And in this video, we will continue with input output control. So let's touch the IO control. We have completed actually the titles and case ID. And in this case, we will set the simulation results output. Actually, if you see this signature, it's green tick. It means that actually we have set the minimum requirement for simulation results output but that's the minimum requirement for the simulation we have here a special case co2 storage so we need to show we need to deliver we need to generate specialized outputs more than the minimum output okay so in this video we will we will activate that outputs okay so click this one double click this is the simulation results file writing okay we have frequency of simulation results file file writing for the well and for the grid okay we can follow the default setting for this upper section but we will change the lower section here first for the grid okay open the select all right and you see we have many keywords we have many many variables so cmg is very very powerful for this case okay it's a very good software we can show many variables as the output okay and we will define that in this video so for co2 storage we need to also show this one take this one mass density the keyword is dang it is density for gas okay and then also we will take the water mass density then w as the keyword and porosity change due to many mineral reaction okay so yeah we inject co2 some co2 will be dissolved right solubility trapping and there will be reaction okay co2 will be ionized to bicarbonate and carbonate all right and yeah they will later on we will will change to minerals to create calcite so there will be porosity change due to mineral reaction so we will we will need to show as the input the porosity change due to mineral reaction and then go down we are also interested in showing the gas relative permeability of course and then water relative permeability krg and krw and also the molality component molality in aqueous phase of co2 okay yeah, you need to go back and check your textbook the difference bet between molarity and molality okay so for molar it is mole per volume but for molal it's mole per mass okay because it is co2 storage the term will be based on mass rather than based on volume okay so we will show the molality of co2 in this case and then go down we are also interested in perm permeability in each direction of course and also the ph ph value yeah as i said before co2 will be dissolved and it will create bicarbonate it's acidic okay so we need to set we need to know the ph and also poros current porosity and press the pressure of course 
by the way press is the default setting so we will always show the press and then go down gas saturation by default it will be shown so sg already ticked but i'm also interested in this tree the dynamic trap gas saturation for gas relative permeability hysteresis gas saturation for krg hysteresis and residual gas saturation for krg hysteresis so you see cmg is ready for co2 storage case okay by default so oil saturation will be shown as a result but we will not need that we don't have oil component in our case so i will untick yet to save the simulation time and then let's go down water saturation okay but i'm also interested in water viscosity okay we have water in our saline aquifer water will be contacted with co2 and of course there will be viscosity change during the entire process so i i'm interested to know that so v i s w will be ticked and then also this one mole fraction of co2 in aqueous phase of course right mole fraction of the co2 as well as the mole fraction of CO2 in the gaseous phase. And then lastly, I think the global mole fraction of CO2, global for the entire aquifer. Okay, so we can click OK. If you want to select all, you can, but of course it will take too long for the simulation to to produce the result okay there will be many 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 calculations required in order to show all the selected results so i don't recommend you to select all or deselect all you just you just tick what you need to show click okay all right 